Greetings and welcome to Sifu. So this is a uh, martial arts fighter style game. Uh, it's I don't have a controller, unfortunately. Um, my controller, I cannot locate the adapter for my old Xbox controller to fit to my uh, computer. And I cannot find my 360 controller, which I think believe had a USB attachment to it. So I had to order a new controller, and it'll be here in a few days, but I'm eager to play this game, so I'm going to try it with mouse and keyboard, but I've found a few things that annoy me. If I try to customize the keyboard and mouse input, I lose the ability to use focus attacks. Those two settings stay unbound to keys, no matter how I try to bind them. Um, so I have to use their default settings, which is annoying because trying to get the throw it's the control key and I also have to hit a direction so I do really don't like having to contort my hand trying to do that I was trying to move the throw key over to like one of my mouse buttons but oh well we'll see if we can do it and controllers are actually a better input for these style of games mainly because of the uh, thumbsticks give you a lot more versatility in pressing directions than hitting WASD and uh, you also have more an uh, control with an analog controller than a digital when it comes to not having to move at super speed all the damn time. Like a full run as opposed to a walk. But yeah. So like when I go to move it's full speed or nothing but if I had a controller I could just barely move the stick forward and my character would actually walk alright I love this game what's going on who are you who wants to go first? Leave him to me. Stop! Yeah, now see, this is exactly where a controller would be better when you're surrounded like this. It's a lot easier to press the direction your opponent is. did pretty good but then again in this tutorial section you're pretty much invulnerable or immortal anyway you're not going to get downed or defeated in any sort of significant way I do like this tutorial sequence though Oops! I looked away just as he blew him through the door you said they put up a fight I'm barely breaking a sweat sweep the place nobody leads sure But yeah, uh, the best tutorial sequence I have ever seen, Far Cry Blood Dragon. Absolute best tutorial ever. This one is pretty good, though. Uh, cinematically, uh, both cinematically and, I guess, how they introduce the stuff. Got nice graphics too, which reminds me um, options. Yeah, and if you bring up your pause screen, you can see your different combos. This guy pretty much has everything unlocked in the tutorial section. Um, Shift W, post parry on an enemy. Yeah, all of your combos, um, your key binds and stuff. But let's go over to options, display. Yeah, what the hell is what with this resolution? Um, hello. There we go. Is that the highest resolution I can do? I want to do my desktop. I'm not quite 1920. Uh, that's my desktop right there. 
display mode full screen all right so there we go apply modifications there we go better resolution I do like the scenery here who the hell is that get him now Throw a bottle at me, will ya? Yay! How dare you set foot in here again? You should never have come back. I'm here to finish what I started. Get him! I love the action in this game. This is freaking awesome. <clears throat> All right. Where is he? On to the boss. Yeah, of course. You've gotten slow, Sifu. Sifu means teacher. You know why I'm here, don't you? Just step aside. You were a mistake. I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. And isn't that how every martial arts story goes? The teacher teaches the wrong student, and they come back and I use the power for bad. Tonight, you've given me a second chance. This time, I will do what I must. What you must do is die for the story to go on. Gotta get better at the dodges. Now that's what I was talking about. They can do counters like that and power up. Regular opponents can. When you try a takedown sometimes. When I look into your eyes, I see nothing but a frightened, angry child.
A little bit sloppy, but I got him. And there's the problem with every quest for vengeance. You complete your vengeance, you start someone else's quest for vengeance. And the cycle will continue. Show yourself. So, I think I want to see a girl kick the shit out of these five. Now that sigh right there tells me he doesn't really want to do this. But he knows leaving her alive will lead her to seek vengeance. This is the only way to end the cycle. But unfortunately for him, there's magic involved. And the cycle continues. Now, your parry timing is real important. If you hit it too early, it doesn't really do much. You have to get the timing right before you're getting hit to get that little spark there like that to be able to do the things like the counter which I still have to get my hand over to the there we go over to the control key to do it I do like this training montage type sequence. Now these are what I need, really need to practice on, the dodges. Get away from me. Got the timing on one. I should have practiced a little more on him. Oh well. Palm strike. This gives you some distance. Like that. Missed the last one. Ow! Attack. 
course, actually beating the bosses isn't going to be as easy as she's imagining it. Especially him. And now I'm supposed to use everything I haven't quite mastered to defeat this guy. I love how cinematic this game is. It does actually feel like a martial arts movie. There's the little shrine to my father. And right here's where he was killed. And we have our skill tree here. <laughs> um, there's the medallion that brings us back from the dead. Every time it brings us back from the dead, it adds how many times we've died to our age. Fajar, the botanist. Machete, mustache, who? He's the one who cut my throat that night. He's the first on my list. He works for gang as a botanist and never leaves that warehouse. So there's my five targets. The botanist, the fighter, the CEO, the artist, and the leader. And there's the locations they're all in, but the first one we're interested in is the botanist. And he's in the squats. This used to be an industrial district. Once work dried up, everyone left. The gangs took over, and it became a no-go zone. Down here, there's information about like gang me game mechanics, like our pendant. After each death, the pendant increases its death counter. Then, when rising, you age the same number of years. As the years increase, the pendant gradually loses its power, and the coins eventually break. Once there are no more coins remaining, you cannot rise again, and your next death leads to game over. Game over or give up. After a game over or give up, you can choose the level you want to start from among the ones you have unlocked. You'll start at the level you'll start the level at the youngest age you were when you reached it. Skills and upgrades unlocked during previous runs will be lost but all items and intel on the detective board, as well as permanently unlocked skills, will be retained. So actually you are really well off, or better off, like grinding out the first level until you can do it with as few deaths as possible. Every time you do it, it'll restart you back to age 20. And until you can get really good at it, you can also go about earning more XP that way. Um, structure represents your ability to defend yourself in a fight. Structure is impacted each time you're hit. If you take too many hits, structure will eventually break, leaving you open to attacks for a short time. Deflecting parrying attacks prevents you from having your structure broken. Avoiding attacks regenerates a small amount of structure. You can break an enemy's structure by attacking or deflecting parrying their attacks. Once their structure is broken, take them down. XP and skills, you gain XP by defeating enemies. XP allows you to buy skills for your current run. And once a skill has been bought, you can consolidate it to be unlocked across all your runs. Special attacks, guard break attacks deal massive amount of structure damage. You should always try to avoid them. They are indicated by an enemy's glowing limbs. Throws cannot be blocked or deflected you can only avoid them. They are indicated by glowing limbs and a red circle. Punish, stun, or daze. Some attacks can be punished by performing the right defense, deflect or avoid. 
Deflect, the attack will be parried, leaving an opponent open to a counterattack or throw. Avoid, time slows down for the duration of the attack. Any hit on an enemy during this window will stun them. Stunned opponents cannot defend themselves, leaving them open to attacks and throws. Several stuns in a row can lead to a dazed state where opponents cannot defend themselves for several seconds. Oh, and here on the board, as you can see, there are different things you can unlock within each of the missions. Some of these will give you shortcuts for when you, if you decide to rerun it, because these will remain unlocked. You can shortcut certain areas and go straight for the boss to get lower age for unlocking the next one. Um, others will just give you information or clues on how to beat the boss. Now about permanently unlocking skills, Yeah, after you unlock, you can do a permanent unlock, uh, you have to spend this value that many times. So after I've spent 500 to unlock this, I can spend another 500 five more times and I will never have to unlock it again on, a, on another run. It will be permanently available to my character basically no matter how many times I repeat something. So that's one thing a lot of grinding you could do is keep rerunning, say, like the squats and each run permanently unlock one skill. And then eventually you can do it with everything already unlocked and don't really need XP anymore. <laughs> and right here is your little training center. It allows you to practice your different moves. Um, and as you see, you have access to your different attacks here and the combos that you have. Um, there are six combos, five light attacks, two light attacks and a heavy, three and a heavy, four and a heavy, four heavy attacks, two heavy attacks, a light attack and a heavy attack. That's actually one of my favorites, the backbreaker, but it is really hard to do against an opponent that can parry. I'll show you the uh, combos, the light attack combo. The push kick, the roundhouse kick, the rising claw, the heavy attack, which ends up knocking them on their ass, and my personal favorite, the backbreaker. But before you get to that fourth attack, they'll usually be blocking. Yeah. Right there, they'll start blocking. Which I can demonstrate by making this guy aggressive where he'll actually block. There, he blocked it. I wasn't able to get off the backbreaker on him. Almost had it. And you can play with different weapons. Go back to passive. You have blades. They all have their own kind of combo sequences. throw them. Oh, no, you can put them on the ground. You can throw them. And, of course, each of them, there's the weapons. You have your palm strike and sweep. Sweep is available with pretty much every weapon. Palm strike changes a little, but still has the same effect. Because the palm strike does a lot of knockback. With the bladed weapons, palm strike is a slash. Which I really like. And you still have the sweep. Bats, which are a really fun one, especially with their counter attacks. It's 
make this guy aggressive just to show you the counterattack. I love that sequence right there. Try it again. Oh, you can't counterattack apparently on the first hit of a combo. That one. Yeah, I like that. But it's Palm Strike is a kick, but so is the staff as well. Alright, go back to passive. The staff, I think, is one of my favorite weapons. Because it's heavy combo ends in a sweep and there's uh i think it's three lights and a or it's four lights and a heavy also ends in a sweep and it's palm strike is also a kick and it's counter attack also ends in a sweep Bouncing it off his head a few times. Alright, well that's the training area where you can come in and practice new things you've unlocked. And I'm still trying to figure out... Oh, focus attacks, yeah. Ice Strike. It's currently the only one I have, I think. Now, this attack. Yeah, that's all it is. If you're running and do attack, it's called the Cap Choi. That's all it is right there. It's just like a is like a tiger claw attack. Kind of like what you end up with on that. There. Now all the weapons are back on their racks. All right. But yeah, you can sit in there and play around and try and get your timings right and stuff like that for different things. But the real fun is when you jump in here and they start throwing multiple opponents against you. And that's where a controller, I think, really shines over mouse and keyboard. But we'll jump in here and knock out the squats. Or attempt to. I may die. Um, I'm, I'm fairly decent with games like this, but I'm nowhere near the best, and I often make mistakes. <clears throat> and they call this a warehouse... I'm sorry, if it's got smokestacks, it's not a warehouse, it's a factory. They've blocked the entrance to the warehouse. Need to find another way inside. The squats. Fuck off. Get lost. Nothing here for you. <laughs> I warned you, asshole. Don't be calling me asshole. Now, starting out, your opponents are pretty damn easy, as you can see. They get tougher. And sometimes when you do takedowns on them, they will do they will counter the takedown instead of being defeated and rise up as stronger. And you can climb up these type of areas. Junkies. I don't think there'll be a problem. But it doesn't really bypass much this first one. But if you stay down on this floor, you can find a couple more things to unlock for your detective board. Locked until we fucking say so. I found this note stuck on a door blocking my way into the warehouse. Yeah, and we found the junkies. 
Most of them are completely high. They're controlled by the gangsters here. If I can get it open, this will be a useful shortcut way out to the avenue. And that's a shortcut I can use on a later playthrough or attempt to run through unless I find the key and come back here. It'll allow me to basically skip a lot of these buildings and get over into the avenue. And we have a pipe, which counts as the bat-type weapon, and bottles, which you can throw at people. I'm going to grab me a bat. You looking to score or something? You, stay there! Batter up. catch people off guard, you can usually knock them into takedown status pretty quickly, like with one hit. I can make it. Just need a run at it. And this is as high as I can go in this building. Taking a bottle with us. That guy's poor phone. Cracked the hell out of that screen. Here we go. Anybody else? All right, can I see the detective board? Yes. Okay, we have unlocked the thugs. Gangsters. Thugs, and yet they still know how to fight. Street experience, I guess. But yeah, they don't have a problem grabbing weapons and tossing them at you. Uh, I got hit with a couple of bottles there. Um, takedowns also restore a little bit of your health. So that is why you would want to use them, is to heal up from having been hit before. Purple Mist. The drug pr produced here. It appeared a few years after the death of my father, and its use has increased dramatically throughout the city. So I think this is a highly addictive byproduct of whatever they took from my father. Open it! Open up! Don't make me bust this damn door down! Check this fucking clown out! Help you with something? The warehouse. Which way? Fuck you want! You do know where you are, right? I'm looking for Fajar. Nobody wants to see the freak, and the freak don't want to see nobody. Now, empty your pocket. Oh, man! Any regrets now? I'm blocking! That 
That sequence is almost straight out of the raid. Or, uh, what was the other one? No, 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 the, uh, the raid was a fun sequ- had some fun hallway sequences, but what was that movie that had that sequence, side-scrolling sequence where he was going through like a subway, beating the crap out of people? What was that movie called? Oh, I can't remember. Awesome freaking fight sequence. seconds to check in while he's sitting on his ass over there drives me crazy hey <laughs> ah, I love this game I want a staff <laughs> in here. Alright, there's two out there. room yeah I'm still looking for I want to get all of the damn secrets for this level all of the evidence I can collect all the shortcuts all the info Oh, he countered. That's what I was talking about. Now he's souped up. Oh, I didn't dodge. Ah, they got me. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. They can counter your takedown, and they get really powerful. This is your death counter. It increases by one with each death. And now I have enough experience to unlock something. What do I want to unlock? Well, I don't have my staff anymore, but I think I'm going to really focus on staffs. Wide attack capable of knocking, knocking down multiple enemies would be nice. Uh, that can be used with bats and bladed weapons. But I think I really should get... Inverted throw. Invert throw is one of my first ones. That allows me to swap positions with an enemy, so if I ever get surrounded like that again, I can get out of the group. Uh, the, the, the being in the middle of them. And now we're going to rise up. When you rise, your death counter is added to your age. So I'm now 21. That's it. Get up. Can't keep up. Yeah, see, that was an attack I should have dodged. And I didn't. Any regrets now? Oh, come on, I've dodged. Got me again. Ouch. 
So now I'm 23. God damn it, would you just die? Not so tough after all. What did you say about me not being tough? I just lowered my kill counter by one by taking out a, a beefed up guy, basically. My 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 staff. I want my staff back. I like staffs. Oh, well, that was brutal. It cost me three years and two defeats. But we made it through. The warehouse. I'm getting closer. That's a factory, not a warehouse. for anything I can pick up or interact with. Bottle, I might need that. Now these little shrines, you can pick one reward. Uh, increase weapon damage. Add half a focus bar. You can reset your death counter. Now, I think this add half a focus bar. Hmm. Does, it adds current focus, I think, not maximum. Uh, increase the impact of parry. Increase focus reject gain on a parry. <clears throat> increase structure gain on an avoid. Increase your weapon durability. Uh, extra health gained on takedowns or increase your maximum structure. Now these have a maximum age at which you can unlock them, so I've only got two more years in which I can be uh, unlocking weapon durability. Um, these have a score level you need, and these have XP levels, and I believe they reduce these values. Um, but I'm going to get the weapon durability. And I can also open my skill tree, and I have more experience to spend. Invert throw. Let's add one permanent unlock to that. Oh, I got to do it with keyboard, don't I? All right, so four more times, and I will never have to unlock invert throw again. So if I decide to run this through again and see if I can do it with, uh, like when I get my uh, controller, and run back through this and see if I can do it without getting the crap kicked out of me in that one. Hey. Hey, Another jump here. I can make it. Yes, I bet you can. But first, we're going to see if there's any clues over here. I see nothing. So here we go. Shame, I'll have to throw you back through it. Avoid throws. Hold spacebar and S. How could you forget how to fight? Oh, I needed to dodge that. And I needed to dodge that and I ran right into it. So here we go with yet another death. It makes us 24. One more year. Wait, get me out of the corner. Big fat bastard! That re reduced my death counter one at least. So we're back to zero. Look at all this freaking cash I landed into. Fat bastard. 
bills, drug money, dirty money, no doubt blood money too. Did I unlock something about the fat guys? Yes, I did. Where is my mouse cursor? There it is. Juggernauts. Difficult to stop him. He can take hits and he still tries to grab me. I should avoid his attacks and strike him the moment I have the opportunity. <clears throat> and there's the blood money. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more things to find in this. Any weapons or anything I can take with me in this? Wish I could pull a beam off of that and have a staff. Um, can I vault over that? No. What's in that room? Let me back in here. Can I see? Can I vault over this? No. Huh. Feels like I should be able to get over there somehow. No bottles or anything. Need a weapon. That gave me a little bit of health back. Oh, let me take the dust broom. Oh, that's plastic. I know it won't last long, but I can still smack somebody with it. Oh, I was blocking. Must have hit me with a... Okay, so now I'm 25. Oh, I've got 500 more XP. Let's go ahead and unlock. I haven't used this yet. I need to uh, start trying to use it. And let's rise back up. We're now 25. Want some more? Should have dodged that. Pricks. Ah, <sighs> that was rough. Got to get a little bit better at dodging, and I still didn't use the invert throw. Anything in here? A lot of money. Good God! Look at all the cash. new pipe club flyer the burning 10 p.m. the club it's where I hope to face Sean I overheard one of the thugs talking about betting on something going down there tonight all right so I'm missing a set of keys that looks like a key card of some sort, or a badge. That's some paper that somebody tried to tear up. And I'm not sure what the other three are. That looks like a flower. Yeah, 
I don't see anything else here. So moving on. Metal gate. This gate keeps our dirty money safe. Okay, so that was a photo. Now I need to find the keys. How the fuck you get in here? I walked. With great difficulty. And I bet your keys could have made things a lot easier. Don't even think about it. This move. Dodge! Dodge! Oh. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to get any more weapon durability. Because I am two years too old now. Really? You want some more? Drop your weapon! Well, that guy's souped up. I just noticed. Prick. Got rid of both my death counters. Got a bunch of keys. Moving through the warehouse will be a lot easier with these keys. I wonder if they will work on that door. Oh, yep, yep. I see the pin. You see the... the net zoom out. You see the little cloth taped through it. So that those two link. So now I can bypass that door in the future. And we have... Four more pieces of evidence to find. These will be useful. Oh, another shrine. And unfortunately, too old to get the weapon durability. I can get more health take on takedowns or maximum structure. Increase structure on avoid. Increase focus on p avoid or parry. Improve weapon damage and the impact on opponent structure. I want to save my XP for the skills right now, though. But let's get health on takedown. And let's add one more count to the permanent unlock of the skill I have yet to use. <laughs> Ah. Nothing over here, though. But I have these keys now. Now, I wonder where that door that led to the courtyard came from. Everybody in here is an enemy, as far as I'm concerned. I'm right here. That was my structure being blocked out. Hey, quick, get the finisher. Yeah. He countered it. Oh, and I'm downed. Oh, man, that's rough. All right, let's get uh, the skill I still have not gotten to successfully use. It's shift after I hit him, and I just can't get it to go off. 
shift in the direction. All right, we're up to 28. Round two. Oh, come on, I dodged. And down again. Yeah, I gotta get away. I got two souped up guys, basically. I gotta get away from him. Here. Oh, I'm just getting the crap beat out of me at this point. I've already gotten into a vulnerable position. Don't you ever fucking die? Nope. You're downed. Holy shit is right. I'm pissed off. Whew, that was rough. I should have been jumping around over here grabbing bottles and tossing them at the souped up guys just to weaken them. Oh, we got something here. That's a flower. The flower used to create the purple mist. So what are we missing? Three pieces. I have gotten the crap beat out of me. Ouch. Yeah, I've got to get a little bit better at dealing with groups. Um, as I said, that part is usually easier with uh, a controller. Are you still moving around? Oh, I dodged. I dodged again, and it didn't let me. And I do tried to dodge again. Oh, and they got me. Yeah, I've just gotten the crap now that I've been getting the crap beat out of me. It's just going downhill from here. You must enjoy the taste of defeat. Enjoy the taste of the D's feet. Get out of Fat bastard. You stay down too. Give me that staff. Actually, I think this classifies as a bat, not a staff. It's a little too short to be a staff. Is there something around here, maybe? I'm only missing two pieces of evidence. Or three. Three. Place looks like a freaking jungle. Well, there's a shrine. Uh, yeah, let's get more health gain on takedowns. And I have enough experience to permanently unlock the skill I have never freaking used. 
<laughs> I should have picked a different skill. But that one was cheap. And I'll figure it out eventually. another piece of evidence. Pass key for a room at the sanctuary. Now that is the sanctuary. So that will allow me to bypass something there. But I'm still missing two pieces of evidence. Locked. Private room door looks like someone's private room. So, that's probably in the private room, and I probably have to play someplace else to get the key to the private room. Looks like that might be a key to a private room. That could potentially... There are keys in each of these. <clears throat> so, yeah. I guess when I come back to get to that private room to unlock this last bit, I can bypass through that door and see where it goes. But now it's time to get really old um, trying to defeat a boss. Gotta get my timing right on dodges and shit. Dodged it. Can't see, get away from there. Oh, I dodged that. Oh, he got me. I was doing a little bit better on the dodges. 
Oh, I dodged. I guess I hit the wrong dodge. Ouch. There goes the first coin. I'm in my 40s. Damage is up, health is down. Oh, that was a low attack I needed to dodge. Alright, that isn't the correct dodge for that. That wasn't the correct dodge for that. That wasn't the correct response trying to run away. I'll figure this out eventually. I'm in my 45, uh, 45, yeah. Joy. I dodged. Oh man, this guy is tough. Like I said, I was gonna freaking die 50 million times trying to do this. Now I'm 50. That's not the correct way to dodge that. I'm getting a little bit better with the dodges, but man, some of these attacks I can't figure out how to dodge yet. I have spent eight long years preparing for this. Ooh! With his own weapon. So it looks like we're back at our little garden area. First thing I want to do is practice that damn attack. All right, so. So it's, oh, it's shift, not, okay. There we go! Yeah, this would be so much easier with a directional stick, uh, you know, a directional controller, analog stick over trying to get the direction that the person is from me from the keyboard. Because it's whichever direction they are from me that I have to press. And I, my problem was I was hitting spacebar instead of shift. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason I never got the damn thing to work. I have 1720 XP. Could unlock something else but I think what I'm about to do is give um, the squats 
I'm only missing one piece of evidence, and I want to see where that door goes. So I'm probably going to run through the squats again and see, because I think that's going to get rid of all the things I've gained. Let's see. Yeah, I've got 16 of the 17 items there. Two keys. Um, it's going to drop me back to age 20. But right now, the club, I would be whatever age I currently am, uh, which is like 53 or 4? No, just 50 exactly. With 5 deaths. So I'm probably going to redo the squats and try for a better score. But we're going to call this an episode. And if you all want to see more of seafood, just let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like at the video. And hopefully we'll see you all next time.